Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Cyberpunk Edgerunners. My name's Tara and welcome on in if you're new here or if you've been here before, welcome back. We are going to be watching episode 4 of Cyberpunk Edgerunners and I am super stoked to get to it. We last left off, um, I was still obsessed with episode 2 with the moon scene and episode 3 we got more information on how David is going to be helping the cyberpunk squad we got to meet all of the people and uh kind of get a little bit a little taste of their personalities without further ado let's get into episode four <laughs> I like her. <laughs> oh my god, it's my girl. Pretty that looks. Oh, animation. Oh, 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 あんたと私は違う。どこか。俺が君を好きに連れて行くよ。死んでほしくない。死ぬもん <笑> I could just cry just thinking about what just happened because like oh my god so many emotions we definitely got a lot more information this episode which was really good in terms of like okay so like they're all working they're vibing i get it whatever i definitely wasn't ready for one of the like the one of the squad to uh have their time so um i actually didn't expect that i mean the guy was 
peeing into a trash can, uh, that was the last thing I ever expected to happen. I think it's really cool seeing the difference between those who are chromed up and, you know, David, who is still mostly human. It's kind of interesting seeing the thought process and how it's different. He still has a little bit, and like, I'm not saying that they're all bad because they definitely are, like, they all have, you know, their personalities, but like, you can tell that he's just a little more like, I don't know, like aware, you know what I mean? Like the way he froze up, the way he can't shoot, like, because he was thinking of his mom, like he still has those emotions, I guess, is what I'm getting at. So it was definitely really good. Do I even need to speak on how it ended though? Because literally from episode two, I was just like, yes, 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 yes. <laughs> oh, I'm such a sucker for this stuff. Honestly, I'm, I'm actually thrilled and I have so many emotions and like that is going to be my background on literally everything because I think, oh, it's so many emotions. I think Lucy deserves her happiness and she's best girl, and I don't want to finish this because I swear to God, if something tragic happens, I'm not going to make it. <laughs> Let me know in the comments what you think of this episode. This is probably one of my favorites, just because of the last 30 seconds. Like, I shit you not, that is literally my favorite part right now. Like, that's all I'm going to be like. That, that right there is the reason why I am going to be saying this is the best anime ever. <laughs> Thank you all so, so, so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. Uh, stay tuned for episode five. I am super stoked to watch it with you all. Let me know your comments down below, and if you're rooting for them too, remember to keep free of spoilers in the comments as best as you can as we watch this all together. And if you have any other anime recommendations, I will gladly take them. I think you can kind of gauge what kind of an anime person I am. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you liked what you saw, and I will see you next time. Remember, most importantly, stay magical.